that last night was so magical, man. I decided to go out to work at 1 a.m. And it was the most magical night of my life, you know. The stars were beautiful. And I was, and I didn't need a flashlight because I was guided by the moonlight. And it looked just like this, except no clouds. Just a big moon and stars in the sky. I didn't even need my flashlight. You know, it was, I felt like a wandering ghost while the world slept. And yeah, it was just, it was just beautiful, man. And, and I was do, and I also did it to, uh, cause the next day would be too hot to work. And, uh, I did it. I enjoyed the cool air. There was no traffic. There was no like dangerous distractions, you know? It was, it was so, the most magical night of my life. Super magical. And you, and I don't know about anybody else, but you feel the vibes, dude. They hit you, and the moonbeams, and everything. They really do something to a person. I haven't been able to do anything for days, as you can see. It says the last time I uploaded something was like three days ago. But I went out into the night, and I'm full of inspiration again. The moon is magical. The night is magical. It does its own thing. I've never been in such icy weather where I enjoyed it so much that I didn't need a jacket. It was actually cold weather I enjoyed. It felt nice compared, compared during the hot days, you know. I just, and my adrenaline, my adrenaline was rushing, and like, my heart was racing, but I don't know what was happening, you know. I mean, you feel alone, but you don't feel alone at the same time, you know. Like eyeballs on you the whole time. I noticed, <laughs> I noticed that, like, I guess I'm not the only night owl. I didn't see... One person walking, though. But, while doing my job, people leave their windows open, and one or two people were still awake. And it was nice to know I'm not the only night owl, but still, they don't even know I exist. And, I don't know what to say, man. If you ever... If you ever played Red Dead Redemption 2, it's like... Walking across that map at night, you know, it was just like that. And the way the, the moonlight, it, it lit up the whole field of grass and it just, and the sounds all around me and the weird cries that I heard, you know, I just can't explain it, but it was magical. It was a night that had everything. It was a night that had everything, you know, everything you've ever read as a child in a book. Except it wasn't a book, man. This is my life. And I've... My ears have witnessed this, <laughs> if that makes sense, you know. And, yeah, man. I just... Like, there was, like, cries of the night. There was... I think what Dracula would have called children of the night, you know. I've heard, I heard all of that, and, you know, and sounds that shouldn't be happening at that time of night, and just, I was out for hours, and just, it went by so fast, and, like, when I was, by the time I was done, I mean, the birds were waking up, I could slowly see morning on its way, you know, waking up as well with the birds, and it just, it goes by so fast, you know, the magic and the night. And yeah, it's like it felt like I was up for days, and I just, I can't explain it. It went by so fast, you know. I wonder if if you're looking for peace, if that's what the afterlife's gonna be like. Um, yeah. Well, anyways, you know, speaking of all that. And what I thought, I happened to be a full moon out and I heard a howl. Join me next time. I think you know what's next on episode 47.